guys to another video of Coding Cleverly. So, as a lot of topics have been covered out, I forgot to add some interesting topics before the start of the object-oriented programming paradigm. In today's video, I will try to cover some of them out. And if you feel like there's a topic worth mentioning or understanding, then all you gotta do is let me know in the comment sections below. And I'll try to read your comments and hopefully we'll try to make some progress. So in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing about inline functions. So first of all, I'm gonna give a theoretical aspect or overview of what inline functions are. So these are basically used for reducing the compilation time, run time, and making your program faster. So how this works is that if a function is inline, the compiler places a copy of the specified function's code at each point where the function is called at compile time. So if you have a function that is invoking in the main logic, you're invoking it using the uh, actual parameters and what whatnot. We already discussed all of that. So if you are calling that, the, what the compiler basically does is places a copy of the definition of that function in that same main logic. And I know this is a little hard to understand on the top of your head, and we will go to a programming example where you will understand it more better. But right now, imagine that it has to take a lot of time to go from one place and go to the function and then function definition back. So that's called control transfer. To reduce the overhead of control transfer, we tend to use inline functions. Without inline functions, the compiler will have to move back and forth. So thus creating more control transfers. The more the control transfers, the lesser the speed goes. So the lesser the control transfers, the faster the speed of the compilation. So the syntax for this is basically the keyword inline before the return type of the function. And then you have the function name placed in the middle. And then you have the open and close parentheses and inside you put your parameters inside. And you put your function definition or whatever you want. So what this does is basically the control transfer is the main thing that we want to reduce. We want to reduce the amount. And I know that control transfer is like in nanoseconds if you compare it to some simple programs that we have been creating but in real world examples code is lengthy long and there could be tons of code and tons of gibberish all around and you have to like use inline functions to make that code easy to operate and you could use it to understand the logic so here i have my skeleton already created so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create a function i'm going to go after the using namespace standard, and I'm gonna give a return type. So I'm gonna give a return type of an integer. And I'm gonna give a triple function. So this is the name of the function. Input parameter is a number. So I would get a number. And what I would do is I would like to return the triple of it. So I would say something like return the number and then multiply three with it. It's a very basic example and it's really simple. So what I'm gonna do here in the main logic is I'm gonna call this. And I'm gonna call it using a, the triple name and then i'm gonna use a number inside so for instance if i say three i'm supposed to get nine as the output so i would get a nine but before that i would have a semicolon and also a console output because it's returning and not printing it out in the screen as what they used to do in void so i would save this code with Control z i would just name it as anything i want i would say 41 and i would go in the execute button compile and run so i'm supposed to get a nine so you can see there's nine over here and this is what i wanted it gave me the triple of three. Now, for instance, I wanna use the inline keyword here. So if I use the inline keyword, this is placed before the return type. Um, what's gonna happen is that this function is being called and the same exact result will appear. You're gonna, you're gonna get nine. But the thing is, the nanoseconds that are making it slower, if inline is not included, now the nanos, it's getting nanoseconds faster just because of the inline function. So if I execute, compile and run, it's a slightly faster than the old one and you will see the same result appearing. Um, where does this is, where is this use is that um, in real world life where code is so long and you have tons of lines of code and you have functions that are so big too. So over there you would use inline to drastically change the speed of the execution. So if you have, so over here, the compiler basically goes in sequential order. It goes from the top and goes to the bottom. So what it here it does, it reads the header files, okay, okay. It would know that there's a function defined, but it doesn't, it doesn't read the definition 
before the main logic. So what it does is that it goes over here, it reads the first 11 line and it says triple three. It goes where the function is defined. It would say, okay, the um, it would get the input parameter and it would return the number. And this is called the control transfer. So this is what's happening is that the compiler is moving from here to here and then it goes back here. So this is called what's control transfer and we don't want that. So if you want to reduce the control transfers overhead, we use the inline keyword to just copy the definition. So this definition is basically copied. We don't see it in real life, but behind the scenes, this is happening in the compiler. So the copy, the, the inline is copying the, the functions definition inside of this invoking method. So this is what's happening. And for instance, if I have it ca called multiple times, if I have it called for this four, if I have it called for another time, every time the speed, uh, the definition will be copied, thus making the control transfer less. And the more the, the less the control transfer, the faster your program will execute. So four multiplied by three, three is, 12 and over here we have 7 multiplied by 3 which is 21 and I would save this code and I would get um, Before that I would like to include my end line for just for the carriage returns to make my I uh, output more clean so I would just include these end lines and I would show you that the code is running faster. So 9, 12, and 21, exactly what we would expect. Okay, so that was inline functions.